what's up ladybugs i hope everybody is doing well today so i just want to chat with y'all for a minute while i put on my finish my makeup so i was watching today ripley's believe it or not and how about this man had a tongue five inches long a five inch long tongue i mean <laughs> Can you imagine a five inch long tongue? Wow. And homeboy was playing marbles with his tongue, like shooting marbles and his tongue was so long and so fat that it reached his eyebrows. Like he could scratch his eyebrows with his tongue. Girl, girl, girl. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. I can only imagine. <laughs> I really y'all seriously I mean I really can only imagine but it was crazy y'all and then they had this man up there that um that actually got in a bag a closed in bag with um 109 rattlesnakes I think it was 109 and Really, y'all, that's just crazy. I mean, I some stuff people do, it just make you be like, okay. I mean, I'm just not 109 rattlesnakes. And then when your tail get bit, you know, about to die or whatever. I mean, it, it just it do some crazy, crazy things. And y'all know, I gotta get me some more foundation brushes. What the heck are my brushes? You ever like realize a lot of stuff is missing all of a sudden? But um, uh, yeah, homeboy got in the K in the bag with 109 rattlesnakes. You know, people be doing some crazy, crazy stuff sometimes, y'all. They really do. And I'm trying to get ready, y'all. Yeah, I had a long workout today and everything, and sister. I got a late, late, late start today getting ready. But, um, you know, putting on my clothes and stuff. And I have a yellow shirt tied around my neck because I got on a white shirt, y'all. And I don't want it to, the makeup to get all on my white shirt. So I tied up, I tie something around my neck usually if I'm wearing white. But I hardly ever wear white. But so how about, so my youngest son is looking for a car. And he has been worrying, me and my husband, we've been going with him for over a week now to look for a car. And it's not that I want him to rush to get a car, but I do want homeboy to make up his mind about what he want to do. And the problem I have is that he thinks that he can wait, you know, to... Four o'clock at three, four o'clock in the evening to go looking for a car. And my thing is Demarcus. Baby, you got to get up early and let's get started if you want to go looking for a car. It makes no sense. And I don't, you know, I don't want no people. I move early, y'all. I get on up for the most part. I do what I got to do and I get it over with. Get it done and over with. He, on the other hand, which he's only 20 years old, so I guess his age has something to do with it. But I'm trying to teach him that, so when you got business to handle, you don't get up, you know, you get up early to handle your business. You don't wait until 3, 4 in the evening to get up, to go, you know, look for a car because... Traffic is bad, you know, I mean, I'm one, I don't play around in traffic, y'all. I hate traffic, I hate driving, and it bothers the crap out of me, in which he can drive, and he, you know what, Isla, his driving is pretty good. He's the youngest, but he drives probably better than the other three, to be honest. So, I don't mind riding with him, but he can't drive a stick shift, so if we're driving the car... And which we gotta drive the car today because my husband um took the Jeep to 
have something done to it. And I just, I don't know, that truck is just too big to be driving looking for a car. But, um, but he wants to get started so late. Hey, what do y'all think about the prancing elites? Ciao. I don't, and I've said this on my channel before, I don't have a problem with people being gay. I honestly don't. If that's what you want to do, fine. I've had some, you know, a best friend that was gay. I've had, I mean, that part is not the issue. That's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, yeah, and I'm going to say this. I really feel like that if you have parents, parents have a right to say what they want their kids exposed to and what they don't want their kids exposed to. And if I say that, you know, if you go to a parade and it's a family oriented parade, you got kids there and all that kind of stuff. And you have tons of parents saying, I don't want my kids to see me out dancing in leotards or how do you say it? They have that right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as a parent, you should have a right to say what you do and don't want to see and the little guys i feel right sorry for them because they look like they just want to dance but you know go somewhere that is acceptable for you to dance because if these crowds are saying we don't want our kids to be exposed to men prancing around in leotards or whatever then just simply to me i would just simply respect that you know, and they crying and they want to cry. And I mean, everybody, I, I just think people just get carried away with things sometimes. I mean, to each his own. If, if you, if, if you want to be gay, that's fine. But I just think sometimes people just take things like way, way too far. You know, it's just some things that it, it, it's just taken too far. But yeah, what y'all think about that? Um, I mean, I feel sorry for the little guys. I really do. But if people say they don't want their kids seeing it, find somewhere else to dance, you know? And what y'all think about Real Housewives of Atlanta Reunion? I was really kind of bummed out because I really kind of thought... I thought that they were, but I, I knew better. I knew once this reunion came, it was going to be total H-E-L-L -L breaking the loose. You know what I'm saying? That the friendships would just be, that they supposedly had developed would be like thrown down the drain. And I'm kind of disappointed at them, to be honest, because I understand, you know, drama sales. I don't know why we live in such of a world today that it's all about drama and fighting and, you know, hating on each other and stuff like that. I just don't, I don't get it. And I really wish that we, the world, could just get along. I really do. Um, I do. And I wish that they would come out with some reality shows. I know I look crazy, y'all, but I'm doing my makeup, remember? I wish that they would come out some re with some reality shows that people were just, could just get along, you know, and it wouldn't be about all this craziness, you know, the fighting and all that kind of stuff. I just, I've watched very, very few reality shows. When I say very few, I mean probably like three. And is it three? I watched Atlanta Housewives, Mary Mary. Child, please. I watch Mary Mary, but they get on my nerves sometimes. And I watch the Braxton family. And I think that's all I watch. But, you know, unless my husband's watching something, I might, like, take a look at it and stuff. But I really don't even watch that stuff, to tell you the truth. Because they get on my nerves, and I'm just not up for a whole bunch of ignorance. I'm really not. A lot of ignorance and attitude and stuff like that. Because I'm one of those people, I like to make life as simple as possible, honey. And... I just can't do the drama. I just can't. Really, I, I just can't. Um, but yeah, so, and Nene, I used to love Nene, y'all. I really, really did. Nene was like one of my favorites on the show. She really was. But Nene's whole attitude and demeanor has just really, um, 
if money make you do all that, then I just, you know, I'd rather not have it. That's the honest of God truth. Because they are just a hot, hot mess up there. They really are. And I just don't like ignorance. I really don't. And what I use today, y'all, I use my Mac by the nine today. Um, I use this. And in the crease, I actually use today, um, Mac, what is this? Brown script. So I use this in the crease right there, which I don't know if you call it crease, but right there. It's supposed to be crease, but because I have hooded eyes, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. On the eyelids, I used in the inner corners there, this color here which is like right up in this area. Um, and the outer, I actually used this color here. So yeah, so I toned it down a little bit with the eyes today. Just, I normally mostly do natural looks. I don't do a lot, and even though I have tons of like colors and stuff, but I don't do a lot of colors, but. Um, so I use the MAC by Nine, Brown Script, of course, MAC, um, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. And for my blush, I'm going to use Sleek today. And I'm using, what is this? Flame. But out of Flame, I think I'm going to probably just use this one here. Is the brush on the thing? <laughs> I'm going to use this one. And let's see. You probably can't even see it that much. Um... Because I don't really want a lot, just a little bit. But yeah, I just wish, you know, that they would come out with reality shows where people could just get along and I, I guess that wouldn't sell, huh? I guess y'all, you know, I'm just one of those people that I don't do drama. I honestly God don't do drama. If, if it's drama to be done, I'm one to just make my head small because I just don't do drama. But, um... Yeah, I just wanted to come and chat with y'all for a little bit before I head out with this son of mine. If he ever get here, because I'm giving him to 3 o'clock. What time is it? I'm giving him to 3.30. If he's not here by 3.30, then I'm going to tell him to go and come again. Yes, I am, because I'm just not going to, you know, do it today. I'm not using any highlight. Like I said, most of the time, y'all, I don't do a lot Um with my face because I just really like the natural look but I think I'm going to for my lips today because um I don't know I'm gonna do the Milani um what is this Matt Glam is it Glam is that the name of it yeah y'all know I can't see the Matt Glam so what lip liner am I gonna use today Vino I'm going to use MAC Vino today. And let me show you what Vino looks like. Really, really pretty. Of course, you're going to see it on my lips, but there's a swatch there. So, I'm going to put this on. Um, but, yeah. So, that was, what was that all I watched yesterday? Yeah, I think that was all I watched. But if y'all have some suggestions to some videos that you'd like to see me do, please leave it in the comment section below and I would love to do it. I hate, don't you hate when you get your lip liner all on the outside of your lips, like what they call it. It's something for that, but I don't like that. And it's just done over. Yeah, let's see. I haven't used this lipstick like that. I think I used it once and I really wasn't crazy about the way that it wears. So, I'm gonna give it another shot today and uh, see how it wears today. Um, Cause I just haven't really been carried away with the way that it wears. It's beautiful though. If y'all have tried these colors, you know, like this Mac Viva Mac, what is it? No. This is me talking about Viva Man. I'm talking about Mac now. <laughs> if y'all have tried these Mac Glams by Milani, um, let me know what you think. 
they go on really pretty but I need to see how it wears so I might you know do some vlogging while me and my son is out today if he hurry up and gets here but if he doesn't then I will be chilling today y'all so yeah I just want to come through right quick and chat with y'all while I do my makeup and I will holler at y'all later alright y'all peace